The remainder of the videos for this year's Spanish class are going to be based on this textbook, Método de los Relojes, which is a grammar book for Spanish. It's a very methodical, very logistic explanation of a lot of important grammar points, but it's something that you've never seen before, so for the first few videos, please be patient. The first video that we're going to watch is about types of verbs. According to the book, there are four types of verbs. The first type of verbs are called amime. Verbs that are type 1, amime, use the same structure as the verb gustar. So some examples are gustar, encantar, importar, sorprender, and fastidiar. Fastidiar is like to make somebody angry. These verbs use the same structure as gustar. So the subject of the sentence is actually the object that the person likes or loves or whatever verb you're using, which means that the verb is conjugated to match the object that the person is talking about. For example, if I said, I like dogs, I would say, me gustan los perros, because dogs are plural. The second type of verb is ser o estar. And the only two verbs that fit in that category are ser and estar. The third type of verb are verbs with direct objects. A lot of verbs fit in this category. This is actually the biggest category of verbs. Some examples are ver, poner, comprar, pagar, visitar, querer, and the list goes on. The reason why there are so many verbs is the only thing they need to fit into that category is a direct object. For example, you can't really just say, I buy. Normally, people want to know what you bought, or I pay for. They want to know what you, want, what you paid for, too, or I want. The type 3 verbs need to have a direct object after them to make them make sense. Remember that a direct object answers the question, what, in a sentence. Like, I see. What do I see? The dog. The dog would be a direct object. Type 3 verbs are also the verbs that you can use with the passive voice. In fact, the book calls passive voice verbos de tipo 3 al revés. Here's an example of a verbo de tipo 3 al revés. Yo compré el pan. I bought the bread. The bread is the direct object because it's, asking, it's answering the question, what did I buy? We can change the position of the direct object and the rest of the sentence by changing it to the passive voice. El pan fue comprado por mí. Type 3 verbs are able to be conjugated in the passive voice. Here's a list of some important type 4 verbs. These are pretty common verbs that you'll hear pretty often. Acabar de. Empezar a. Enamorarse de. Casarse con. Ir a. Olvidarse de. Pensar en y soñar con. These verbs are always accompanied by a preposition, which you can see next to each verb. That's what makes them type 4 verbs. Now I'm going to write some verbs on the board, and we're going to see what type of verb each verb belongs to. Our first verb is ser. Which type of verb is ser? That's right, it's a type 2 verb, because type 2 verbs are either ser or estar. Alright, now for a harder one. Here's the next verb, encantar. What kind of verb is encantar? It's a type 1 verb, amime. It has the same structure as gustar. Okay, how about the verb comer? Comer is a type 3 verb because it normally has a direct object. It usually says what you eat. For example, comer un plátano. How about chocarse con? Con is a preposition, so chocarse is a type 4 verb. Let's do one more. 
The last example is tomar. What kind of verb is tomar? It's a type 3 verb because it's usually followed by a direct object. For example, tomo el café o tomamos apuntes.